There are nearly 16 million acres of forest land in Virginia, covering 62% of the state. And the forest industry is a $17 billion a year contributor to the economy. Trees and forestry have always been important to Virginians, but protecting and renewing our renewable resources took a big step forward a century ago with the founding of the Virginia Department of Forestry, now one of the state's oldest agencies. We have a very active and, and strong forest products industry in the state, uh, so the trees are very important to our economy. They're important to the rural character of our communities across the Commonwealth. They're also important in our urban areas. They provide, again, clean water, clean air. They also provide wildlife habitat and, and recreational opportunities. They do a lot when we've had a stressful day at work. It's nice to be able to, to head out to a state forest and be able to walk through the woods and automatically be connected to the land. A century ago, the major threat to Virginians came from wildfires and forest fires. The first firefighters were hired in southwest Virginia in 1915. But landowner education has always been important to the Department of Forestry, which actually began as part of the University of Virginia. Another role the department has taken on is helping landowners replant trees after harvest. That's why there are several state tree nurseries. Right now we're standing in, uh, in some beds of one-year-old white oak seedlings. Uh, these white oak seedlings were planted in the fall of 2013 and the acorns came up this spring of, the, of 2014. Uh, all these acorns we collect from locales around the tree nursery uh, and we, we plant those, like I said, in the fall. Uh, where these seedlings will go, a lot of these seedlings will be bought by private landowners to either plant a few, plant 25 of them at their house or hunting cabin or, or somebody just wanted to do reforestation. So some orders of these we get as small as 10, 25, and some orders we get from some big contractors that actually plant thousands of these at a time. White oak is just one of the 50 species of trees available for purchase from the state. Everything from apple to walnut trees are available in the Department of Forestry Seedling Price Guide available online at buyvirginiatrees.com. Most seedlings are offered in quantities from 10 to 1,000, and it's a great service to landowners. But that's just one service the Forestry Department offers to the public. Perhaps even more valuable is the free advice from professional foresters on how to manage forest land, especially since the majority of timberland in Virginia is privately owned. We work with private landowners to ensure that they have the resources that they need to manage their forest land. So being able to provide them with professional advice, ensuring that they have private sector contractors to work with if they're planting trees on their land. Reforestation is very important in the state, and so we work with landowners to ensure that they not only have the very best seedlings to plant if they've harvested their land, but that they also have cost share and financial incentives to help make that possible. As growth continues to encroach on rural Virginia, some wonder if we'll reach a point where our forests start to disappear. The good news is that thanks to the Department of Forestry, so far our trees are holding their own. We are actually doing a forest inventory analysis every year, all the time, and this has been going on for 75 years. We're doing very well, and so it's, it's surprising to folks, but actually 80% uh, of our forest land is actually hardwood forests across the state. We have 20% pine. We are concerned about fragmentation and the loss of forest land, or the conversion of forest land. It's really important that we do all that we can to conserve our working landscapes. Landowners with as little as one acre of property can request the advice from a professional forester. And of course, the department is on the front line protecting all Virginians from forest fires. If you happen to meet someone from the Department of Forestry, be sure to give them a century salute. From Augusta County, this is Dave Miller reporting.